In this video, we're going to talk about the Arnold area lights and disk light. And we're going to use the shelf menu again to create uh, a quad light to start with. I'm going to click on the shelf menu and then press on the viewport to place a light. And um, we have um, we have this rectangle now uh, as a viewport display. Uh, we can rotate and position the light the way we want. I'm going to actually leave it at the ground and um, I'm going to switch to the render view and hit render and we should get a preview of what the area light should look like. And uh, I'm going to use the Arnold, uh, the, um, the light tab to control uh, the light settings. I'm going to increase the intensity to start off with. And you can see we have, it's a small rectangle right now and we can use the, um, uh, these options here, the quad size to scale it up and uh, it's, we can scale it uniformly or non-uniformly if we wanted to. And to take a look at how that uh, looks in the, uh, on the viewport, it's basically changing the, the size here to reflect the, val the values that we're putting. So we can, uh, we can uh, have a feedback of what these, um, uh, what these settings does to the, to the area light by looking at the viewport display. And let's switch back to the, to the render view. And uh, so this is basically the new options that we have available for us. Everything else is pretty much the same. I'm going to change the color. And uh, the samples are pretty much the same across all Arnold lights. And the new option that we have here is called spread. And this basically tells, um, uh, can control the light spreading. And if I start reducing this down, the default is, is one. Uh, we can see that we have a, a more narrowed emission area for the area light. And the smaller the value, the the tighter the uh, the emission is, and you can get pretty much directional um, uh, area lights if you want to. And I'm gonna set this to 0 0.5, 0 0.2 maybe. And uh, we're going to take a look at the disk light now. And the only difference between the disk light and the uh, area light is the actual shape for for the light. So in this case, we have. Uh, a disc, it's a circle, and in the area light we have uh, a square basically. And we can take a look at the options as well. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to position this. Somewhere there. And I'm going to hit render. And uh, we have a preview of what the disk light looks like. And let me change the viewport so that we see the light. And this is our disk light emission and it also has the, um, uh, the spread control if we want to use that. And we can also make it bigger if we want a bigger uh, emission. And the normalize option uh, does also uh, the same thing. It uh, the bigger the area light, the softer the shadow are going to be. And uh, uh, we can uncheck normalize to make the size uh, be a, a multiplier for the intensity of the light. But in this case, we're not we're not going to do that. So I think that that's pretty much it for the uh, area light and disk light in Arnold. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.